They say that courage is being able to do something, even when it scares you. Bravery, that's what they call it. Brave leaving my home in New York for South Africa. Brave saying goodbye when my twin brother died. When mom would look at me because she sees him. Brave when dad loses all hope because of drought threatening our new farm. Brave to risk my life finding a friend. Courage is being scared to death, but reaching out anyway. Because sometimes, what you're most afraid of is the very thing that will set you free. Good boy. We're in an enviable situation here in South Africa. We have a very unique environment and we've got some wonderful stories to tell. And A King's Heart is a story that can only be filmed in a place like South Africa where there are lions. On the surface of it, the story about an unusual and unlikely friendship between a boy and a lion. But a little bit deeper, it's actually the story about restoration in a family that's gone through a tragedy. They are a broken family, and through the relationship between this young boy and a lion, the family is healed. I decided that a lion would be incredible because it's dangerous, it's a wild animal. Uh, it requires a lot of courage to interface with an animal like that. The more dangerous the animal, the more investment there is for the characters and the more investment there is for the audience. So a lion and a boy is is going to be pretty dramatic. We're working with real live lions, so we needed to have, again, the best to make sure our crew and cast are going to be safe during the process. And uh, Alex is just a fantastic guy to work with. He understands his animals uh, and he understands the filmmaking process and how to keep his crew safe and get a great shot. It's a lion. It is always a predator. And this is what people tend to forget. So you try and do things the safest way possible and probably pick the best line as well. I mean, picking the line is very, very important. When the director says, we want Columbus, you, then you know your lion's made it. He's like a big teddy bear, but you must never, ever forget. You must keep it in the back of your head that he is always a predator. And predators, you give them this much of a chance, they take it. One of the key things about shooting this film in, with wildlife and the landscape is capturing the beauty of Africa. And you know, even just from this little test shoot that we're doing today, Tom just has an incredible eye for capturing beauty. I love coming of age movies. Um, it's about a young boy and his relationship with his lion, set in a beautiful South Africa. All the beautiful landscapes we can work with, um, the animals, um, just beautiful scenery we're going to be playing with. And, I mean, it is absolutely breathtaking how beautiful this country is. I've um, just finished a feature film with Craig Gardner, the writer. He directed and wrote uh, My Father's War. And yeah, what a pleasure to work with. When he told me about his next project, I was stuck. I'm aboard, whatever it is, let's go, let's go. It's, it's amazing to work with him. He's a great person to work with, yeah. And it's a great script, you know. Oh, is he gonna bite me? Keep walking, keep walking. I wouldn't want to work with anybody else. As far as I'm concerned, Tom Ray is the best cinematographer in this country, and with Tom as the DOP, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful, poetic, almost like watching a painting. The story of the family and the son and the relationship with the lion will speak to an international audience because ultimately this movie is about relationships and the relationship between the boy and the lion facilitates healing in a family and it ultimately leads to a boy becoming a man.